Extraordinarily, the action at Bath on Sunday was abandoned due to sewage escaping into the uh, weighing room. Happily, there were no such problems at Cork and Nace, though, where there was some formative action on both the flat and over jumps. The feature race replays can be seen elsewhere on the site. This the is what happened on the undercard. The Aidan O'Brien trained Johann Strauss is only 25 to 1 for the Derby, despite finishing fourth on debut at Newmarket. He was sent off at 7 to 2 on to get off the mark in the opening maiden, but the drop back to seven furlongs didn't appear to suit and he got going too late, failing by a neck to the Qatar racing own sniper. The 8 to 1 winner, who is a good worker at home, according to jockey Connor Keane, has been twice tested in Group 1 company already and was said to have benefited from the change of tactics here. A couple of lengths clear now as they begin the run to the final furlong and Sniper and Colin Keane in front. Johan Strauss ridden to try and close now in second. They're clear of fiscal focus as they race uphill to the final 150 yards. Sniper in front. Now Johan Strauss on the outside trying to close but as they race up towards the line it's Sniper on the far side and Colin Keane. Brilliance. The Phillies made over the same trip, went to Dermot World's vote often in the green and pink. 2-3 when well beaten on debut, she stepped up markedly here to win comfortably at odds of 10-1. to And the winning trainer holds the daughter of Beat Hollow in high regard. He said she's a lovely mare for next year and could well be up to stakes level. She's likely to want a mile and a quarter or a mile and a half in time. Racing down to the final 200 yards, vote often and beyond brilliance. These go on from Azaraba and it's vote often now on the far side and Pat Smullen who stretch on a couple of lengths clear running up towards the finish and it's vote often and gone on by three to four lengths beyond brilliant. Sticking with the juveniles and top weight hidden oasis in the JP McManus Green and Gold took the prestigious bird catcher Premier Nursery. Dropping back to seven furlongs proved no problem for the son of Lawman who had finished second in a similar contest over a mile at Listowel last time. And nothing between Hidden Oasis, Sophie's World, on the far side focus, and then between them, Craftsman. Hidden Oasis now on the near side, just the leader as they run up towards the finish. Hidden Oasis just from focused and Craftsman. So Meanwhile, over at Cork, the Desi Hughes trained Art of Payroll in the green and grey nailed 9 4 favourite Easter Hunt close home in the two mile maiden hurdle. The German bred Feuerrad was having just his second start and sent off an unconsidered 16 to 1 shot. He'll go into many notebooks after this, though, looking value for more than the narrow winning distance under a canny ride from Brian Cooper. And the two and a half mile novice chase produced a great finish in which six to four favourite Awiga Star in the nose band outbattled the hat trick seeking Golden Wonder. Rated 140 over hurdles last season, Peter Flying trained six year old is beginning to prove his worth over fences too and be a decent field here. He looks capable of making an impact in grady races over the winter. Fence to ruin the back marker of the four. Wonder jumped now, a week a star on the far side of Golden Wonder. Darun is picking up again on the near side, and then Kudamandra over the final fence, nothing between. Golden Wonder and a week a star on the far side, these two locked together with less than 50 yards to go. A star on the inside, bounces back over fences.